All right, so hello viewers of this video. Today, I'm going to be presenting my HKICO project about scheduling classes more effectively. So let's start with myself. I'm Justin Redditiariski in secondary two. I'm candidate number 123 from Sekolah Pilar Indonesia in Indonesia. So next up is before the demo and the programming, I will show you how I visioned it and final product. So while starting this project, I had the idea to create a app model like app, though it is actually very complicated. So I actually resorted to a Google Calendar type app where we input our schedule and automatically make the table. So the next one is final product where the program first asks whether we want to create a daily or weekly schedule. The program then proceeds to ask the class name and time. This process is repeated until we say done to either show the table or proceed to write the schedule for the next day. So this is the table that we will be creating. It's an example. So the program is made with Python 3.7 coding language and is able to list your schedule in a daily and half week format from Monday to Wednesday. My program also displays the output in a nice table format as shown in the image to the right, this one. My program also, after outputting the table, has the ability to undo and edit the schedule again and sorts the timeline automatically so it is re rearranged neatly. So this is the code review and showing where I will say that I use 15% of usage of other external apps because I took inspiration from YouTube, my parents, and I also asked ChatGPT and Google how to fix some errors that I encountered during the process. So this is the photo of the first part of the code the second and third part, the fourth and fifth part. So this is actually 138 lines long. So the first one receive input is to save input data from user using easy formats. Second, store the data, store the data whilst the program is running. Then the ability to display the data to store in tables for easy viewing, able to edit or add more classes after the first table is presented, able to choose in daily and weekly schedule mode, and having an Easter egg during the table printing phase. Later during the demo, I will show what the phase, what the Easter egg in the table printing phase will look like. So it is now time for the demo. I will now show my other screen. So here we are in the code. And let's actually start by choosing weekly. So it's first going to ask daily or weekly. Let's choose weekly. For example, in Monday, we're going to check balance of quota. Now, of course, we can also input more classes and schedules here. But for now, I'm going to be only using either two or three for quick examples. So the next one I'm going to show you an example is um, AirPods at 7.30 or oh, 8.30, sorry. Anyway, here's a cool tip when using my program. For example, we forgot to do something at seven and we want to input it. So for example, we want to eat breakfast. We can input seven here and in the table later, it will show up above AirPods. Let's click on done and we can say and done. So as you can see, this also sorts out, this sorts out and you can also see the rows and columns for the day class time. And let's edit a class. For example, we want to add in Wednesday, watch, watch Wednesday on Netflix at 17. And you can see it adds right there. If we want to undo, we can also do that to undo the last action. And we can also put in the special phrase where it's going to say, why did Gojo have to die in JJK season two? That is, of course, the anime reference. And we can also type an exit to exit the program. So thank you for watching my HKICO video project. So thank you and goodbye.